All right, this is going to be a quick video on how I lift my 164th scale Greenlight M2 Hot Wheels vehicles. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some of this, see if it focuses, one, one thir three thirty seconds aluminum tubing for 449 and some of this 99 cent uh, 0 0.047 music wire. They get those at Hobby Lobby. Um, that looks like is this is that music wire. This is what you'll build your axles out of if you're not reusing axles that come out of the truck. And this is your tubing here. If we can get that to focus. There you go. There's your tubing there. This is what will make the axle housing. So what you'll do is you'll take this tubing and let me show you on a truck that's not all done up, done up. You'll cut it to the width you want. I usually use a jewelry saw. You can also use a Dremel. And you'll glue that. You'll sand down the body of the truck underneath where the wheels will actually go. I pulled that front wheel out so you can see. So you can see the hole, the top hole there, that's where the wheels originally went on this truck. This will be the new axle piece for your lift. So essentially, you're just taking the wheels and gluing them to the bottom of the truck. Then you'll take your music wire and you'll cut it to whatever length you want your axles to be. So usually what I do is I figure out, I usually do the axles first. I cut the axle out, put it on the wheels, figure out how wide I want it to be underneath the trucks to figure out how far I want to stick out and stuff so it looks like that um, and then I cut my tubing and then when you're done you just take that slide through tubing put the wheel on the other side and you're done so now on other trucks for instance um, we'll take a look at my Ram 2500 here because this isn't a monster mud truck like that wheel poke or, we, or how far out the wheel stick is something you want to consider. So that's where you'll, um, you know, spend a little bit more time figuring out, you know, how wide you want that axle and you want that metal tube to be. And then you can do things like there. You can see this. Use that same music wire to make a tie rod and a steering arm. You can make track bars with it, um, and then. I use uh, this this um, or no nope, excuse me yeah the 332nd aluminum rod so it's not aluminum pipe it's aluminum rod it's an actual solid rod and I use that to make my drive shafts and then you can use um, This stuff here, um, I believe, is this the, no, okay, so this 0 0.125 by 0 0.125, um, and these are square styrene rods, and I cut those the length to make transfer case, and then I just, cut, I just paint it. I use um, Sharpie oil-based oil paint pens. Um, for all kind of my fine detail stuff. That way I don't have to sit around and spray it. I can just color this stuff in. Um, yeah, so like for instance, like the pump for the fuel cell, the cap for the fuel cell, I painted that with the marker. Um, transfer case made that for the marker. So, and then you can use that same piping that you used for the axles to create the exhaust. And then I usually go with a bigger rod like that or even uh, something like that for my piping that's a little bit bigger for my piping and then that's for my exhaust tips um, <clears throat> not really sure what size that is I don't have yeah I don't have the packaging for it anymore um, so I'm not really sure I don't think I have the packaging for it anymore yeah so I'm not really sure not really sure what size that is. 
I think I do. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know what size that is, but um, you just get something bigger than a um three thirty seconds pipe, like a, I don't know, maybe a five thirty seconds pipe or something, and you can glue that on there. Now I like the jewelry saw because you can make your diagonal cuts and you can make more precise cuts with it versus like a Dremel cutoff wheel. It's harder to do. The rod you can just get away with cutting it with a pair of wire cutters like these. Um. So yeah, so that's how I make these these lifts on these trucks. Here's a uh, look at my one of my OBSs. Now, if you go to online, if you go to, or even on Instagram, if you go to Big and Boosted Custom Ds, I think it is, um, you can order the track bars from him. He makes the short ones like those, and he makes the longer ones. Like I said, the paint pens are good for like color matching stuff, like the tie rods. This is the steering bar there, stuff like that. And then um, this truck, which is my new one that I've been posting, I haven't done the. I got the track bars on for paint right now, but you can see there I've kind of painted the suspension parts there. The front track bars I'm going to leave. I had this chrome rod that came off of a, the axles for that thing. I had to make the axles wider, so I ended up using them to make chrome front track bars for this truck. So, and then the stack. See, that stack there, I cut with the jewelry saw where the stack on this one See that focuses. I cut with a Dremel, and this one here, you can see how the edges are a little rigid and whatnot. Um, the jewelry saw it works a lot better for that. Now, also, when you're gluing, oops, I recommend Loctite Super Glue. You can either use the gel or the ultra liquid, and I recommend going to Hobby Lobby and buying some of this. Insta set. So what you'll do is you'll glue something on. You can spray it with this. It'll instantly hard the glue so that way you're not sitting there trying to hold stuff on. I made a lot of trucks over the years without Insta set, and um, Insta set's really nice to have. So yeah. So anyway, that's it. And then um, I also have styrene sheet. There's different thicknesses you can get, and you can make little accessories like bed covers, stuff like that. Um, Big and Boosted Custom also makes the head rack, the headache racks. You can get the one with the center cut out for a slide window, or you can get one where it's fully through like that. He also makes the fuel cells, and then Portland Car Lover makes my front bumpers. So bumpers like that, and then this is kind of a cool one here that I did. This truck here, this brush truck. You can see he actually makes them with the lights and stuff in the front. This one's got some work done to it. I didn't do a lot of track bars and stuff on it. Um, just because it's a fire truck, it's not really a show truck or anything like that. Um, and then Big & Boost Custom Diesel also makes this body, brush truck body, wheels for it. And you get like an M2 Bronco and you can use um, M the tires for from the M2 Bronco for that. So... That's how I did that truck. So, all right. Well, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. And yeah, here's a look at this truck's getting new wheels. That welding truck you commented on, I took the wheels off of that and put it on that welding truck. So, that one's getting new wheels. These ones have Hot Wheels wheels. Um, there's a guy on Instagram. If you're interested, let me know and I'll tell you who, and I'll give you his info. He makes. These wheels, the white ones, these chrome ones here, and a couple other wheels, even the dually low, low probes that are going on that truck. So just let me know um, if you're interested in that. But hope this video helps. If you have any other questions, I'm here. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, I know there's some guys on the internet that don't want to tell people stuff, but you know, I started as a beginner and asked all the right questions. So I'm willing to pass my knowledge along. Just let me know if you have any other questions. If any of my trucks you're collect in my collection you want to see in depth of, anything like that. Just let me know.